In order to begin the planning process for the next fiscal year, the first thing a district would need to do is to access their planning tool. In the drop down box, change it from the current fiscal year to the next and create a copy of their plan into the next fiscal year by clicking this button here. The page will bring you a confirmation and it will let you know that you will be copying the IMM monitoring planning tool into the next fiscal year. A note on this, if there are indicators or information you would like included in your IMM for the next fiscal year, ensure that that information is already put into the IMM for the current fiscal year before copying forward. Once you're ready, hit confirm. The page will refresh and you'll have the ability to go into your district agency plan in the new fiscal year. Here, you will be able to go in and update any of your goals, strategies, or action steps that have data that needs to be updated from year to year. The first step in the new fiscal year that districts should perform is conducting a comprehensive needs assessment entering it into their CCIP. To access, click on the needs assessment. The needs assessment can be completed one of two ways, either by completing the decision framework as part of the Ohio improvement process and importing the output into CCIP, or by following the steps in building a needs assessment and planning resource for CCIP found in the document library. Here's what the document looks like. If the district is using the decision framework, they must first access this needs assessment screen within their plan before they can use the import fu functionality from decision framework. The needs assessment serves as the foundation for districts as they begin their planning for the next fiscal year. It is a data-driven process to look at the needs of a district in identifying their goals. Once the needs assessment is completed, districts will now be able to update their goals to meet the needs. Again, to do this, they would go back to the plan overview portion of the planning tool and click on a goal. This will take them to the update goal and they can change or update information here and hit save. District plans are where a district would go in and define their goals, strategies, and fiscal resources. A district plan can also include action steps. School plans, on the other hand, only contain action steps and have the goals, strategies, and fiscal resources already populated from the district plan. By school plan, if you go back to the planning tool and underneath the district agency plan, if you open up the drop-down box, all of the schools associated with that district will be here. In addition, if the district applied for a 21st century grant, a partnership plan may be listed here as well. To access, hit the school button. Again, you'll notice you don't have the ability to update a goal or a strategy. The only thing that can be added to a school plan are action steps.